and welcome to my channel. Today I have decided to start a new series called Trading Tuesday. So every Tuesday I will be doing a training video for my six month old husky puppies. So the training will be what we taught our puppies between when we got them, which is between five weeks old and they're now six months old, Alithia, who's just 10 alone. And so um, yeah, this is going to be my new training series. Um, today we are doing <laughs> crate training. All right, so you will need one or two crates, some sort of crate cover. In this case, we are using a sheet, towels and puppy pads, paper towel and a water and vinegar mixture, bought or homemade cage dividers, dog toys and dog treats, and of course, your puppies. Before your puppy goes into their crate for the first time, it is important that you have it properly set up. Your puppies being in your bedroom or close to a very popular area is also important to make sure that they feel safe and comfortable. You will need a properly sized crate with the dividers. Alithia here is a larger dog now and her divider is up to right here it's hard to see because it camouflages into the bars as you can see but your dog needs to have enough room to sit down lay down and turn around comfortably you will need to get your puppy pad or towel in your crate now this depends on whether you are still potty training your puppies or not our puppies are no longer having accidents in their crates so they have upgraded to a towel a toy and a sheet draped over your crates. Crate, crate training should start as soon that you receive your puppies. As soon as you bring your puppies into your new home, it's important that they get into the routine of their training. Leave your crate open so your puppies can go in and out and explore the crate. Once your puppy goes inside of the crate, make sure that you praise them and say the word crate so they associate the word with going inside of the crate. Make sure that you leave the door open at first so they don't think that every time they go into the crate that they will be locked up and confined to the area. All right, once your dog gets used to the crate with the door open, you can start closing the door with them. Come on, like his crate. Come on. You can see he enjoys going in his crate and you can close it without problem. She actually just went inside of her crate also. And you can also close it. So at first, make sure that you don't leave them locked in there for too long because, well one, they're still working on potty training. You don't want them to have accidents in their crates. And two, you don't want them to think of the crate as a scary place. Um, that also brings me to the fact that you should not use your crate as punishment. Never, ever, ever use your crate as punishment because a crate is their safe zone. It's like their own little bedrooms um, and they need to feel safe and comfortable inside of their crates. One thing that you have to remember is when you take your dog out of the crate, not to seem too excited. It's really bad to associate with um, letting them out of their crate with excitement because then they'll think that, again, this is a punishment, and every time you're going to come home, they're going to go crazy and insane, wanting to come out right away and stuff, and it's just a bad thing to teach your dog to get, like, super excited. So how long and when your dog should be crated? Depending on your dog's age, it really depends on the amount of time they should be in their crates. Um, it also has to do a lot with bladder control. When your puppies are one month old, they could hold it at most for an hour, and then two months old is two hours, three months old is three hours, and so on. So that's how long you should be leaving your dogs crated. A dog should be crated at night and when you are gone for the day. You should not leave your dog crated all day because it's just a bad thing, your dog being crated up all night and all day. Um, but when you are away for like an hour, or when you're going grocery shopping or to the movies and your dogs are at home, especially with the husky breed, it's really important that they be locked up because it's for their own safety, honestly. There are some stories that I have read um, of a dog chewing through a couch, crawling into the couch that they chewed up and getting stuck in there. They're also known to be destructive. They could destroy your entire bedroom. 
and they could get to electrical cords and electrocute themselves, which is extremely bad. So when you're gone, make sure you, you create them up. And this also brings it to nighttime. At night, it's important to create them up also so they know that it's bedtime, it's time to sleep for a few hours. Because if you don't create them, I'm fairly certain that they will be waking you up every few hours to jump on you while you're sleeping. And they will pee everywhere and do things that they're not supposed to do in general. Alright, so the sheet also comes in for at night. Um, at night you just cover them, or even when you're gone during the day, you cover them. So it's a nice, dark, calm area. Um, we have cats at our house, and if the cats were running around and stuff, and the dogs see it, saw them, they would go absolutely crazy trying to say hi to the cats and stuff. So this really, in general, just helps keep them calm. Your dogs will be fully crate trained in no time. This is how our dogs are now at six months old. Babies, crate, crate, good boy, Olivia, whoop, sorry, crate, good job. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions about training your puppies, I may have forgotten to mention something in this video. So leave your questions down below in the comment section. I will be again trying to do a video every Tuesday called Training Tuesday. I believe that next week's video will be showing you guys how to teach your dogs to sit. So it will be a lot simpler video than it was today. To make sure that you see all of my videos, make sure that you subscribe for it to pop up in your newsfeed. Like this video and leave a comment down below. Thank you all for watching.